Hello everyone! In today's episode, we will show you the ancient city of Mira and St. Nicholas Church. Remember that in another video about the curiosities of Turkey, we were telling you that St. Nicholas, also known as Santa Claus, was born in Turkey, in Patara. So this time we have come to this place where the church is. So we will, we will be showing you around and hopefully you will enjoy it. To go to Dembre Antalya and visit the St. Nicholas Church in the ancient city of Mira, then we took a bus from Kashmain bus station. The single bus ticket was only 11 Turkish Liras and the timetables can be seen outside the office. This is a very short trip from Kash. It takes about 40 minutes and it's a great option for a day trip. Get off the bus at Dembre bus station and then we are ready to start our tour in this city. Our first stop will be St. Nicholas Church since it's the closest place. Santa Claus, who is portrayed as a person who brings gifts to children in red white clothing all over the world, was actually Bishop Nicholas, who was born in Patara, Turkey in the late 3rd century and lived there until becoming Bishop of Mira, today Dembre Antalya. Over the time, he became a saint thanks to what he did. He was well known for being generous, and he mainly protected children, sailors, travelers, and poor men. He built a reputation for secret gift giving to children and all those in need, which after passing away, his habit of gift giving became an important tradition that can still be seen in the present time. After his death, a monumental tomb and then a church were built in the name of Saint Nicholas, who won the love of the people of Mira with his good deeds. However, during a crusade, his bones were taken to Bari, Italy, and nowadays can be seen in Basilica di San Nicola. The church has been renovated over the periods of time. The entrance fee is 50 liras and the museum pass Turkey is accepted in this site. For more information about the museum cards and updated entrance costs, We'll leave the official link in the description box. After the church, we'll go to the ruins of the ancient city of Mira, which are about two kilometers away and it's famous for its theater and impressive rock tombs. The entrance fee is 45 liras and also here the museum pass Turkey is accepted. To come to this place we need a taxi, unfortunately many buses aren't coming to this direction. The taxis can be taken directly from the bus station and the round trip had a cost of 40 liras. The Lycian Union was formed by 23 cities in the Mediterranean region in the 1st century BC and Mira was one of the leading cities of this union, which is considered to be the pioneer of today's democracy. This was one of the most populous and richest cities in the region 
and also the place where Saint Nicholas was a bishop in the 4th century. The theatre dates back to the 2nd century AC and was built with a donation from one of the riches in the city. This is the largest theatre in Lycia and one of the main attractions of Mira. It has 38 rows of seats and it's richly decorated with theatrical masks and mythological scenes, making it a masterpiece. The most splendid building of Mira is the rock graves, which are dated to 4th century BC. 23 graves are inscribed, 13 of them are Lycian and 10 are Ancient Greek. Just a few are temple tombs and one can see steps carved out the rock that lead to them. However, the entrance is forbidden. The difference in the type and characteristics of the tombs provide important information about the social status of the tomb owner. Being in the place where Saint Nicholas, through his good deeds, inherited one of the most special and important traditions of humanity to the world has been a great and beautiful experience, and we definitely recommend everyone to have it. Hopefully you have liked and enjoyed this video and don't forget that if you want to keep receiving more tips and recommendations about Turkey and Istanbul from locals, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.